in the like Summer Games tweets because I was like, I wonder what people are replying to with. And there's like an account called GT Updates and News Reporter, and all they talk about is, is this game could be GTA Six. Yeah, Keely oh. made a, a, a tease a few minutes ago saying, "Anyone have a favorite classic PlayStation One game?" And then he used a GIF of the PlayStation Boot logo that is stretched to widescreen. It has the Fraps recording numbers in the corner. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. yeah, there's a I lot of hilarious replies way. Jeff gets. Classic PlayStation 1 game? What if they're remaking Final Fantasy VII Remake? That'd be crazy. Oh my god, stop. I can't believe they're remaking Small Soldiers. I wouldn't be. Would it be? Then wasn't there rumors? I don't know how long ago of that Crash Party game getting a remake. Huh? I hadn't heard of that. I... Or did I imagine? I totally could have imagined it. I just remember there being like a you know, in the vein of Mario Party, a Crash one. Well, pretty sure it just got spelled on Twitter, so didn't look at Twitter. <laughs> Was I close? Uh, mm. nope. No. No? I mean, I don't know if I want to consider it a spoiler, because it's from, quote-unquote, the man himself. Uh, I mean, it's still spoiled in the fact that it's, like, it's still need to pop up. Whatever. Pop up in like two minutes. Oh, so, got, what Keeley's doing hold on, is... Twitch chat. Hold on, let me, uh, <laughs> hold on, let me tweet this out. Half-Life Alex too. Uh, was that on PS1? It was on Dreamcast. No, I doubt it was on. I, I doubt it was on PS1. It was on PS2. So Keeley is doing this summer games fest where I don't know if it's every day, but he's planning to do these uh, streams where they're all dedicated to one game per time like so today's stream is revealing something there's also a re reveal stream tomorrow and then I don't know when the next one is after that so I mean the idea that it is only one game it's gonna be up in the air whether or not we care uh, if it's like something we're interested in so it's like you know this could be like an hour or two hour long stream about one game and we don't care about it. So, I mean, just a heads up, we might like stop streaming on some of these. Yeah, I don't Given the really under I, I don't really understand, but I don't like wait to do like, I don't know, like Big a week's worth of games. Like, hey, every Sunday. I guess to stretch it out. Every, yeah, I guess. The music's over. It's over enough anyways. I can get it. it. It's just not restreamer friendly, but I mean, it gives each game like its own its own little like good amount of time and its own spotlight. At least if it's interesting. I'm still hoping that there's some E3 stuff, like just digital conferences. Yeah, just stuff stuff around the season. Nintendo's not doing anything. They said that already. Oh, they're not gonna do a direct? Nope, no direct in June. Wow. I wanna hear about that Mario collection though. <laughs> you can hear everything you wanna hear on a website. Since it's just rumors. Yeah. I could start like making stuff up about it if you want. Yeah, please. Um there'll be two versions. Uh-huh. And actually, it's a free-to-play game. It comes with Mario 1, and then you have to buy each game uh, as a DLC for it. And they're all releasing over the time. Today we it's, called, it's called Mario Service. Ex Hell yeah. Exclusive. Oh, we know, Callie, but we're pretending that it wasn't. Fuck! Loud! Oh, 
Why is the quality like that? Never mind, that's the highest quality it goes. All right. That is really high quality. But the uh, question well. now is, will this be any good? Yeah, who's who's developing it? Who's publishing it? Yeah, I don't... I, we, it's hard to trust that after that last off. one. Uh, PS4. Oh, can you just let us play the old mode, though? Like, those old graphics? <laughs> like, I'm serious. Let us play the old graphics. I'm gonna be honest, though. I was more a fan of the Underground games, so... I don't think I ever played Pro Skater. I mean, there none of them have, like, story... None of the pro skater games have like stories to write about compared to Underground, but they still play hey, fine. They at least have the classic soundtrack if I look of it. Yeah, the soundtrack. So there must be money behind it to afford the licensing. I just, uh. I remember Underground had some crazy maps and characters, and then, yeah, the story mode was a bit wacky. Yeah, there were actually a lot of stages, though, that I remember from, I think, Sub 2 that I found out were just recreations from these ones. Airport is so classic. Oh, man. I hope this uh, Activision Vicarious Visions. It's a crash. Uh, it's Tony people did the crash. The rights for distribution, though. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Epic Game Store. Brand new remaster. Oh, that's on um, Steam. And uh, this is an exciting Summer Game Fest announcement eh, uh, of that news. And to talk a bit about And maybe it, right it just now, means that Epic will make it go free in six months us, after. Course, the one and only <laughs> Tony Hawk and if it, if it I'm, biffs it. I'm being serious. Like, they made World War Z go free after a, a year or something. Um, so yeah, if it biffs it, it in sales, fuck it. Bring, um, Pro Skater back, which is so a that's how they afford the soundtrack. Thing to have mm -hmm. uh, mm. Tony, uh, this is exciting. I know it's been, like, I think four or five years yeah, since the, like, the last time you guys did a game. Um, what is it? You know, this is what everyone, I think, wanted, right? And what's like, that about a demo? The clock to the originals and, and, oh, pre-order to get the demo. Uh, how did this get down it, chat? Wow, he just looks like Tony Hawk. You know, it's been a, I, it, there's been a lot of requests over the last few years. I would say even over five years, and I can I could just sense it ramping up, especially as we approach the 20th anniversary of the of the release of the first. Goes to the game. X Games. <laughs> and, uh, I was talking well, to Tony Hawk has clearly aged stuff, a lot, but he doesn't look half bad. Yeah, he still skates um, too. It's pretty incredible. You know, the, pretty the great to see. Like, incredible. Oh, does he still skate? And, yeah. And when wow. it came from from them, I said, "You don't understand how many people have asked me that." Um, and I try to explain to them. Yeah, Vicarious Visions. They aside from those rounded edge things and Crash, they did a pretty good job and, on Crash. Uh, and they said, "Yeah, let's let's get on it," and and they immediately. Maybe visions. now, depending and, on how well this uh, does, and, EA will push for a skate remaster instead of whatever mobile, <laughs> mobile game, game. trying to push. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, when I, I first saw it, I was so excited that it drop was, that you know, and actually, like, you know, what make a game. Does, which is kind of honoring the tradition of the game. I, I still love the fact that it's like, hey, you need to contact the skater, and the skater's like, you make a skate for? No? Fuck off. Removing, you know, 20 years but if it ain't a time, fully fledged uh, game, even Jen, if it's just a remaster is, you know, or a remake or something, then why why would anyone give a really shit? These, you know, uh, amazing kind of you know uh, remasters of beloved franchises. No, yeah, they. Uh, um, I don't know if is, they'll you know, talk about it, but yeah, I think that's it in good hands. I don't even know who one? developed uh, Pro Skater well, Five though. Well, I mean, first off, I looked up Rena. My, my only worry is it's still Activision published, and we've seen with their remasters that they like to add in new stuff that just ruins it. That's my only fear. In which ones? Uh, Pro Skater 5 was made by Robomoto, Disruptive Games, and Sun Labs. They completely destroyed Crash Nitro Racing. Oh, Nitro Racing, yeah, yeah. The Crash and Spyro are fine. Mean. Yeah, yeah. So they're known for it's fucking up one remaster. I guess though they fucked it up pretty bad. I, I guess it depends on how they approach the the remaster. Yeah, if they if they do some sort of service bullshit with it. Right. But I don't know if it even has multiplayer, so they may avoid it. But it's totally a thing where the next game or whatever, then it's like, I don't know. I just always distrust Activision when it comes to that, especially since they always do it post launch. 
are, are I wonder if the really Thug 2 modding is still going to be safe. Of these original games. Yeah, and you know, because now like this is so it's many years on the radar, like but also the license years, with so, Tony Hawk's you know, even renewed. The nature of how you control and play the game has changed so much. Because I mean, you remember Tony? I mean, the, the old. But yeah, has, vicarious uh, visions, at least from the developer perspective, they're gonna. So it's like I imagine that. Um, uh oh be on top of how the game was, feels a lot of what you had to think about is like how, how can you play so that's this at with, least you know, reassuring get controllers it give you so much more granularity when you're playing yeah well we, yeah, that's we, true enough we, i was just looking at like, the wiki so like what well, vicarious visions has worked but, um, on uh, like, apparently they helped uh, you with know, pro skater you 2 in the first place your, your thumb's gonna drift to that d-pad and you're gonna want to do your tricks that way that's you me. can certainly do that if you want to do that um but you know newer players are used to playing on the analog sticks and and quite frankly analog is not as precise uh, so how we had to spend a good amount of time iterating and thinking about okay how do we make it is so she talking about the remake enough oh my god the original like games were an analog do, um, but you still have the challenge I'm yeah totally. on the d-pad though <laughs> I'm sure I, well, I was going to say because Tony you've had so many years of you know going through you know different controllers even I remember when we revealed the, the board together one year when you did that I mean you've been sort of through everything yes, um, the board. when you stepped into this to work with v VV can you maybe talk a bit about the collaboration and kind of you know he didn't have a reaction were, to that I think he forgot and, and I think he's sort of trying to forget wanted to, to take the game he said still <laughs> it took me a second the history it's tricky the flashback <laughs> dated to today's you know standards or quality of life as Jen said yeah, I would say the basis of it was the feel. Does it feel like it responds the way that the original games did? And that's something that we've been kind of missing through, you know, the various uh, versions and attempts at, at bringing this back. And so when they finally got the feel, and it didn't take them very long, you know, they're, they're, they are really good at what they do. Um, and and it's, it's obvious that they're fans of the game. Um, so... When I started playing yeah, it, good. it felt it felt like the same response. It felt like the tricks they worked the same. Yet, the the yeah. did it just buffer there for the a second. Yeah, yep. Oh, well, that's not top. just us. I mean, they're, you know, the um how vicarious better, visions approaches it is yeah they uh but they even play the new game, put it down, pick up a controller, play the old one. Get these levels that, 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 that is like real okay. manual how they how they try to recreate the feel. Can you guys maybe talk about the you know. Obviously, online is a big part of it, but sort of like what is new or different about this game that you've added to this is of, great. You know, the core architecture of the you know the original town. Well, uh, of course, Dude, people uh, have been waiting for a skateboard game. It's been how many years? From uh, not games. not of course, we've got, Pro Skater Five. We've got no one needs to talk about it, or any of the Tony Hawk online. games since but Thug Two. Thug Two was like the last actually, good one. Split screen's still kind yeah. of a novelty these days. So, or at least the last um, one I enjoyed. But then you also had Skate from EA, and that's why I mentioned like yeah, Skate two, yeah, Skate one and two are fine. Um, hopefully soon. Um, and uh, as far as other things that you can play online, uh, we we also have Create a Park that has been improved now. Oh hell yeah, dude! Uh, Create a Park. Your levels online. Have your friends play them. You can share them online. Let them take over and customize them even further. So it's it's a pretty robust offering of things you can do with your friends out there. Are you going to have sort of uh, like are you know any new tricks or secrets or anything, Tony, like that you wanted to kind of put into these classic levels? I mean, people don't necessarily want them touched but also i think there's there's probably some fun i mean is there anything kind of new that you said hey like i want to i want to switch this out or something you know that's bugged you from 20 years ago that you're like ah let's let's change that out i was never satisfied with the 900 uh, what do 1080 there are some polished moves but i was trying to stay as true as we could to the original so besides the the visuals and obviously the the responsiveness um we stayed pretty true to the tricks and the maps and so um yeah, I didn't want to mess with that too much. I feel like, I, I feel like people are going to be so excited to play exactly as they remember it, but in this new visual field. Yep. That that's where we want to land. Yeah. No. And you. you yeah. 
I, I was going to say, you know, I, th I think what's maybe fresh to these two titles is that um, you'll have a full suite of t tricks to play with from the, even the latter THPS series. Um, because when we, when we talk to fans and we ask them, what do you remember Sorry if you guys about, hear about these games? And it's really being that skateboarding superhero, doing those crazy endless lines. So we needed tricks like Reaver, which came in later so that you can chain together your tricks. So we, we added those back into the mix. Mm. So I'm, I'm really looking I was forward gonna, to I was going to say, there are a lot of technical you know, things that Tony probably wasn't aware of from the beginning. Beginning. like and he didn't have any I job being aware of them either because when i talk about the series mm. and i always i say oh when we introduced the revert in thps2 which was not in thps2 but it's like i don't want to remember a time before we had the revert <laughs> so uh i i did insist on adding that why is the guy that looks like tony hawk so here they announced a tony hawk remake remake a it one and two. Three, that's right. I think what happens is you, you start playing and your your finger just keeps going for that trigger. So you, you just, again, that yeah. muscle memory kicks in and you just want to do the tricks you're familiar with. And so well, I, I guess was this doing brings it. Up I kept the question seeing other people vicarious. doing it. Like, um, are they just so going to keep doing that, remake? Okay, this is what people naturally are going to want. What's that? If they're going to be passionate about it, then let them do it. Yeah. The same thing. I wouldn't mind. I mean, it's, it's interesting seeing like their like, recent development history because from like, so, 2011 right. to 17, were it was all Skylanders. Of, yeah. Like, right. Like and then, oh, wow. and then know, they helped like, Destiny 2 a bit so like, just remembers until uh, Bungie classic, broke up from Activision. Um, you know, and then it was the Unsane Trilogy and then Nitro the Fueled. Game, you know, you are doing some work with, like, like Ares Visions actually designed the engine that... Um, maybe talk about that genesis or you know, how you surround um, that building that out. That yeah, is absolutely. used with the crash the game games now. They designed so that back Kratos during the PS2 era. Awesome. Um, we have a ton of diversity Jesus. in our faces, the hair, the clothing, so many things that you, you can pick out. Of course, your your deck graphics, trucks, wheels, you name it. Um, but I'm really super excited about Create a Park because the VV team has truly modernized this feature. I, I told you a bit about how you can share online, etc. But there are a ton of pieces and parts that you can customize your park with. Um, the new news is that you'll be able to modify many of the pieces. And so modify them. If you want to take a rail, twist it around, turn it into basically like a roller coaster, you can do that. If you want to create if you mean which games, uh, one and two ramp that goes all the way up into the sky, you absolutely can do that too. So I'm really super stoked to see what our players create with this. Um, they're going to be able to share it online like I said, and share it with their friends. Uh, I, I just, I can imagine one of the things that I look forward to, because you can tag your parks with um, descriptors, is people being able to uh, go to their local skate park and and essentially build it in the game. Ooh, so if I cool. want to see what a skate park in Chicago looks like, I can just I mean, type in. I mean, not really fitting right now. I'm not going out there, but here. So, uh, I'm really looking I think it's closed anyways. That's amazing. So you you get to yeah. get in and design some stuff, Tony. Oh, there's right? Google Maps. There's Google Maps. <laughs> how, yeah, absolutely. So how crazy could the, the creator get? Too, was it in the original game? In one and two, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if uh, Create a Park was there. I totally so, use it in four. Um, pretty sure. Having done this, Tony, does this make you feel like I was just like, wondering because, hey, you know, like, I know into, I wasn't sure if you can get some crazy again, level I mean, design from these games. Like, than I that. know there were oh, I hardly remember at all. I remember I spent so much time in the creator, well, though, but I, I was so that, young, I don't yeah, remember, like, it, right? and had no frame of reference for yeah, how, like, crazy the stuff I was making was. I'm just wondering because if you can get something crazy that was kind of familiar to Underground 2, then that would be awesome for me. Because I just remember in Underground 2, you remember the map with all the portals? Yeah. To go to the different places? That was yeah. always cool mm -hmm. for me. <laughs> yeah, at portals. Um, and, and the, you know, even, even 3 and 4 were still only on PlayStation 2. So yeah. we've come a long way with the technology, and I think that. Uh, these guys truly are the best ones. Like they're the most qualified oh, yeah. to do it. And so uh, every time I get a new version, I can't believe how much better it looks. I mean, that's that's the truth. No, VV, you've done such a great job, Jenna. I think that's the thing that uh, you know with games, it's it's sometimes sad you know because funny? you don't have that mm -hmm. backwards compatibility of all this, these. This this stream you know, is only one game. Well, that, I know, guess I technically two. Can't but really it's one game, anymore, right? and, if, you know, and it's PC, already more interesting than of games, the entire old, Xbox said, thing like, from last year. <laughs> games, PS2 games, it's like you can't just pop them in. And so it had gameplay, so I mean, you know, 
they're coming back, but also going forward in time, and you know, with the fidelity that you guys are able to yep. uh, to build around it, and you know, the controls and even, oh man, you know, Tony's lagging out. You're trying to figure out like you know, how does the jump you know translate, and how do you move? All, you know, it's all the the moves the skateboards and the don't help his bit right. from the original Tony Hawk making it feel <laughs> right details. on you know these new controllers. I think is uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys have nailed it. Unfortunately, since we're all in quarantine, <laughs> we can't sit there and play it. But I I trust you guys are gonna. <laughs> deliver it and uh, i'm so excited that it's uh it's back so um exciting news and and thanks for uh thanks for being a part of this with us as we uh we virtually bring together the the gaming world but uh i'm sure everyone will be excited that it's it's coming out soon right i think it's going to be early fall uh that's right we're coming out september 4th and if you pre-order uh today uh you can well if you pre-order in general not yeah. just today uh you'll get access to that iconic warehouse le level from thps1 um and you'll get access to it early so before the game releases so so definitely check it oh, out so the demo is that's awesome, awesome. kind of yeah. like cool. your, your pizza yeah. promotional disc <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I get that's the thing. Is like that part it, of this thing with this whole Summer Game Fest thing we're doing is people. I wouldn't have thought about money, it you know, being like the promo disc for the to original. To, you know, events like that's E3 a good point. and stuff like that this year to play stuff. So the fact that you're gonna have, uh, you know, the warehouse people be able to play, uh, you know, later this summer is awesome to awesome to hear. So, all right, well, Tony, Jen, thanks for for joining me. Great to have. Uh, THPS back um, and coming this fall. So As I was gonna say, it's to, great uh, if these streams are only like 25 minutes long. Well, thank right. you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. That was technically 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Uh, 39.99. Cause it's already on at the game store. Right. Just looking. Now comes the fun part. So let's talk about our next console. There's a deluxe edition for ten dollars more. Um, the Ripper Skater from Paolo Peralta. Unique retro outfits, Steam, Abelero, and Rodney Mullen, and unique retro content for the Creative Skater. The, I was gonna the say they edition. need they need the classic models. Well, it says retro outfits. I don't know if they'll have the retro model. That's probably what it means is for the outfit. I would hope just, so. I just yeah. I, uh, oh, you know, it'll I, be a low poly helmet. That would be cool. So, uh, yeah, next stream is tomorrow, and these will probably all stay this short. One of the most important events on the schedule is tomorrow. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, cool, I like that. I'm glad it's not drawn out, so even if we don't care, it's only like 20 minutes. All right, so thanks, everyone. That's cool. Uh, Tony Hawk. Cool guy. I, I wish we'd see him more, though. I don't know. He hasn't been anywhere in a while. That, that impersonator Extreme. was really cool, though. So, uh... Stream. Yeah. When, when is he starting his Twitch career? Come on, everyone yeah, else for already real. does. He, he's, he's practically already ready right there. What is what is he doing right now? He can't go out and skate. Come on. Right. Um, the, he should, he should just, down. like, be watching speedruns. I want, I want to see Tony appear in, like, uh, the Thug2 community speedrun chat and modding community. <laughs> I want to see him get into it. Uh, what's today? Tuesday? I think so. So tonight is going to be Rave. On Wednesday and Thursday, I'm going to be continuing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And on Friday, I think we're going to do Halo 2. I think that'll be the plan. Because that uh, actually, Halo 2 releases on PC tonight. So I'll be able to do that like we've been doing with Region 1 so far. Um, we had other plans, though. So I think... For next Wednesday might be something. I'll say for now, maybe next Wednesday will be Worms. Um, but we'll see what happens. So thanks everyone for tuning in. See you all tonight and then tomorrow. He probably could be at that massive warehouse in his backyard. Oh, maybe. I Why would Tony Hawk not own like a skate park in his house? Anyways, yep, yeah, see ya. Take a nap. Go to bed.